The Prime Minister spoke at an event in Montreal for a local announcement on building up infrastructure, but it was the foundations of his leadership that featured in repeated questions from reporters, questions some caucus members also want answers to. CBC's Janice McGregor was listening in, and she joins us now from Ottawa. Janice, that by-election defeat last week in Toronto, that it's still dogging the Prime Minister, and it keeps bringing up the leadership issue. What did you hear? Yeah, this is really the first kind of sustained questioning we've seen uh, of the prime minister since uh, that loss uh, a week ago Monday. Um, he has not sort of made himself available to take what you might think are some inevitable questions about whether uh, things do need to change course, whether that was a loss that rattled his party, and how MPs and Liberal supporters are feeling in the wake of that loss and in the wake of ongoing public opinion surveys that suggest uh, they really are going to have have a challenge uh, maintaining Canadian support and trust through to the next election. So uh, are there changes afoot? How is Trudeau uh, messaging uh, to his caucus team, but also to Canadians generally? Uh, he was asked specifically three times uh, about whether we would see some kind of early summer meeting of the Liberal uh, team uh, in his caucus. He acknowledged he had a conversation yesterday with caucus executive, but not with the whole team. Why not? Uh, here's how, what he said. Last week's uh, by-election loss, uh, not to sugarcoat it, was, was challenging. Uh, it was uh, something we need to take seriously, and we've been engaged in uh, lots of important conversations. There are, as always, a range of perspectives and voices within the Liberal Party, and listening to all those voices and giving them all time to engage is really, really important. And that's uh, what we've been doing, what I'm going to continue to do while we stay focused on delivering for Canadians. He was also trying to position things uh, in the context of what he described as, as anxiety out there, people uh, needing their governments to show that they can deliver uh, at a time when there are a lot of, of challenges they need to focus on. I guess the question is, though, whether his government is uh, meeting that moment and, and delivering in the way that people expect. At one point, Trudeau said uh, he had been listening not just to the sort of people who have been speaking out in the media, perhaps suggesting it is time uh, for a change at the top, but also other people, uh, leaving the impression uh, that in his mind anyway, he still commands the support of the majority of them, notwithstanding the fact that there are some voices now popping up uh, to question whether they are on the right track forward. Um, he characterized uh, the conversations he's been having with people uh, who may be uh, suggesting he should step aside as frank and direct. He was speaking in French. But he wouldn't admit uh, directly when asked directly uh, whether he had faced calls uh, in, you know, to his face or at least directly uh, through communications directly uh, calling on him uh, to step down. Uh, there are some ministers out today uh, as well also facing questions on this. Karina Gould, uh, just coming back from a bit of a maternity leave, uh, will be resuming as government house leader, but specifically also the co-chair for the Liberal campaign in Ontario next time out. She too uh, asked about these rumblings, and this is what she said. Look, caucus is a team. We sort things out as a team. That's how it's worked for a long time, and that's how it continues to work. I've had many conversations with caucus colleagues over the past week. I know the Prime Minister is having conversations as well. Um, it's always a bit of a challenge uh, in the summer when people are dispersed throughout the country. We will absolutely be getting together in September. I think what the most important thing for us to do right now as Liberal members of caucuses is, is to go out and listen to our communities. She also talked about the importance of taking the summer to reflect. Her reflection on that by-election loss last Monday, she repeated today some things she told Canadian Press yesterday, that she feels they needed to nominate their candidate earlier, that she thinks Leslie Church worked very hard, uh, but the, the Conservatives have nominated their candidate earlier. He had more time on the ground. She suggested that was part of the problem in that particular race. And she also said that at the doors, what Liberal volunteers were hearing is that they wanted to send the Prime Minister a message that they are feeling frustrated right now on a number of issues, including the cost of living. She said she's confident that they can win St. Paul's back in the general election, that this is 
just a temporary setback for the Liberals in that riding, not something that pretends a serious crisis uh, in the 416 for them. I will note, though, uh, Francois-Philippe Champagne, uh, someone rumored to be a leadership contender, he also uh, took a question about whether he would be a candidate for the leadership, assuming it opens up. Uh, he said, Justin Trudeau is the leader. That's how it is right now. Uh, and he also said any caucus colleagues uh, that he's having conversations with right now, uh, he talks with them about the need to focus on Canadians right now and that that is the best way forward. CBC's Janice McGregor in Ottawa. Thank you, Janice.